Hello friends, this video on solutions part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The, now we know what is solution. Now if you see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 different kind of solutions. In all these, let's suppose we have taken 1 liter of water. 1 liter, let me write, 1 liter of water. In all these cases, and that is my solvent. But the solute is varying. So here I have one drop of solute, here I have two drops, here I have three drops of solute, here I have four drops, right. So if you make solution of these scenarios, are these same? No, correct. And what is the difference? So if you see the concentration is different in all these scenarios, right, the concentration is not same. So the key word here is concentration. The concentration of these uh, solutions which you will get in all these scenarios 1, 2, 3, 4 will be different. Correct? Because in all these cases the solvent is 1 liter but the solute is changing. In here 1 drop, 2 drop, 3 drop, 4 drop. So there has to be something called concentration which we need to define. Correct? So let's talk about this term called concentration. So what is concentration? So concentration of a solute is described by expressing its concentration. I'm saying, I'm oh, sorry, the composition of a solute is described by expressing its concentration. Its concentration can be expressed either qualitatively or quantitatively. Okay. So if you add one drop, this is light. If you add more drops, it becomes darker, right? So, if you talk about the qualitative, I'll say that this is my dilute solution and this is my concentrated solution. So, when you compare these two, I'll say uh, the solution A is a dilute solution, solution B is a concentrated solution. And this is nothing but my qualitative way of representing, right? But it creates confusion. What if I have a, one more solution C which has 10 drops? So will that be concentrated? So there's a confusion in that. There is not a very foolproof method of expressing the composition of a solution. So there has to be a quantitative way to express the concentration. Let me repeat. So there are two ways to, repeat, uh, to express the concentration. One is the qualitative way. One, there is a quantitative way. So in qualitative way we say it's dilute or concentrated. So we don't have fixed numbers to tell what is the concentration. That is not a great method. So we have qualitative, sorry, we'll not understand quantitative way that is a better way to express concentration. So there are various ways through which we can uh, express the concentration in the quantitative way. And these are the first one is mass percentage, volume percentage, mass by volume percentage, parts per million, mole fraction, molarity and molarity. We'll go through these quantitative concentration. All these are my types of quantitative concentration. We'll go through these one by one. Let's start with mass percentage. See, the mass percentage is also denoted by W by W, that is weighed by weight. For example, if I take some 10 gram of glucose, right? For example, I take 10 gram of glucose or sugar, this is sugar, and I dissolve this in, let's suppose, 90 grams of water. 100 grams of water. Correct. So if I want to know what is the mass percentage, that is mass percentage is nothing but mass of component divided by mass of total solution. Into 100. For example, if I want to know the mass percentage of sugar in this case, 
let's take 90 gram to have simple uh, mathematics so mass percentage of sugar is nothing but mass of sugar by mass of total solution please note here in the denominator we have the mass of total solution not the mass of only water into 100 so mass of sugar is what 10 gram total solution is how much so if i have taken 10 gram of sugar 90 gram of water this will give me total is 10 plus 90 that is 100 gram of solution that is 10 by 100 into 100 percentage so we saw this this is nothing but 10 percent so i will say this is my 10 percent by mass sugar solution in water if you want to know mass percent of water also if you want example that also we can find but generally we try to find the mass percent of the solute so here my sugar is my solute and water is my solvent correct so the mass percent is nothing but the mass of the component by total mass of the solution so it is generally used for industrial application example in industry we say bleaching powder bleaching powder we say is 3.62 mass percent sodium hypochlorite in water right that is my bleaching solution when you talk about bleaching solution that is nothing but you're talking about 3.62 mass percent sodium hypochlorite in water so this mass percent concept is very very famous in industry when you want to buy a particular chemical and it's told chemical is nothing but a solution which will have a lot of solutes and one solvent there you'll say okay this much mass percentage is my solute x this much mass percentage is solute y and this everything is in this solution for example bleaching solution when you say bleaching solution you're talking about 3.62 mass percent of sodium hypochlorite in water the next is volume percentage so volume percentage is v by v it's only used for liquids actually because uh, in liquids we can measure the volume so this is nothing but similar to mass percentage instead of mass it is volume so nothing but volume of some the component which i'm talking about by a volume of total solution total solution into 100 for example let's suppose this is my ethanol and i'm putting this in water right so when i say 10 percent or let's suppose i take uh, 10 ml of ethanol and i take 90 ml of water combine this you get solution that is nothing but 10 plus 90 is 100 ml solution so you want to find the volume percentage volume of the comp or volume uh, percentage of ethanol that is nothing but volume of ethanol by volume of total solution into 100 so volume of ethanol is what 10 ml volume of total solution please note i am taking volume of total solution i am not just taking volume of water so volume of total solution is 100 ml into 100 this is my percentage so what i get is 10 percent ml ml also gets cancelled so when i say 10 percent ethanol solution in water i mean i have 10 ml of ethanol 90 ml of water Please note, when I say 10% ethanol in water, it doesn't mean I have 10 ml of ethanol in 100 ml of water. It means 10 ml of ethanol in 100 ml of total solution. That is 100 minus 10, that is 90 ml of water. Correct? 10% of ethanol in 100 ml of total solution. That is 10% of ethanol in 90%, of, 90 ml of water. Correct. So generally this volume percentage is used for 
liquid liquid solution right because the liquid is something which you can measure volume perfectly correct so one application where we use volume percentage is uh, you know anti freeze in car anti freeze we'll talk about this in the uh, next few slides anti freeze that is used in car radiators in cold countries why because it is used to dip, uh, reduce the freezing point we'll talk about that later this understand this anti freeze in car is nothing but 35% v by v that is volume percentage solution of ethylene glycol it is used for anti freezing car so this this will lower the freezing point of water actually by minus 17.6 degrees celsius we'll talk about that so this is 13% v by v of ethylene glycol in so this is my anti freeze so here you see when you talk about anti freeze we use this v by v concentration the next is mass by volume so let's suppose i have i want to i have something in volume and something in mass and this is generally used in medical industry so in medical industry if you see we generally know the mass of solute this is mass of solute and this solute is nothing but my chemical compound or my medicine that is dissolved in in some volume of solution typically water so you see we have something called mass and we have something called volume right so it is nothing but the mass of solute mass of solute in 100 ml of solution please note here also i am using solution not solvent so the denominator is generally solution in 90% of the case only in case of molality i'll show you that there's a different case but everywhere it is solution this is not solvent please don't confuse most of the students get confused here they say solute by solvent but it's always solute by solution this correct and solute by solvent this is incorrect please note when you talk about the mass by volume mass by mass volume by volume it's always solute by solution when you talk about the volume of by volume there is volume of solute by volume of solution mass by mass mass of solute mass of solution mass by volume mass of solute volume of solution correct the next is parts per million see sometimes the solute that is present is in a very trace amount trace amount of solute example i told iodine in a very small one part per million is dissolved in water it is helpful right so when the solute is present in very trace quantities it is convenient actually to express the concentration in part per million ppm that is part per million so part per million million is nothing but number of parts of the component for example a solute actually number of parts of component which i am talking about into total number of all components in the solution right of all components in solution and since it is part per million to multiply this into 10 to the power 6 you multiply this also for example other examples where we use this we have to find the concentration of pollutants right in air so if you see here the pollutants in air also we express in part per million sulfur concentration in air those things are in part per million or the oxygen dissolved in sea water that is also part per million so example if you see 
one liter of sea water you take right this will have almost 6 into 10 to the power minus 3 gram of oxygen dissolved so you want to find part per million all you do number of parts of component that is this much grams of oxygen 1 liter of sea water is almost 1 kg that is 1000 grams please note both the unit has to be same this is gram this is also gram almost into the power 6 so if you see this and if you solve this what you get is 6 ppm part per million why 10 to the power minus 3 into 10 to the power 6 is 10 to the power 3 10 to the power 3 and this will be cancelled you get 6 part per million so that's how you denote concentration right so cases where my solute is present in a very trace quantities that is that it is convenient to express the concentration in part per okay the solute is in trace quantity example i told iodine in water oxygen in water pollutants in air all these are expressed in part per thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get pre-study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again